The first type of reliability is internal reliability or Chrome Box Alpha reliability. To test this, I need to go to analyze, then scale, then reliability analysis. Then I will just uh, group those items uh, like one, two, and three, and just paste them here or put them here. So these are what we call positive feelings. I need to run this multiple times till I finish all of these scales and subscales. So I go to statistics and I just choose scale if item deleted, click continue, click OK. And here are the results. As you can see, the Chrome box alpha here is uh, minus uh, 1 or 0.118. It should be anything uh, above or equal 0.7. If it is uh, not above 0.7, it is not reliable. This means that the scale is not reliable. It does not show internal consistency. We can improve it from here if we wish. But see, here you can see that uh, still those uh, items may, may still be negatively, let's say, put. So here we can just uh, uh, change this, reverse code this item or delete it altogether to increase the reliability to minus 7 Five, or just reverse code it to make this reliability positive. The second type of reliability is test retest reliability and this is valid only if you test the same construct twice like in time one, time two, etc. So to do test retest reliability I need to go to analyze then uh, scale then reliability analysis. I need to just uh, see those items let's say this feeling has been tested in the first uh, time and in the second time and so that's why you can find one and two i go to statistics so here i just need to include interclass correlation coefficient and i choose two-way random and here i just uh, make it absolute agreement and click continue so this is the reliability. You see the interclass correlation. You see the Chrome box alpha here is 90%, which is good. And here you see the uh, interclass correlation coefficient, single measures, uh, which is uh, average measures. These are good. And here you can see the confidence intervals, the lower bound and the upper bound, in addition to the F test with true value zero, degrees of freedom one and two, and significance. So here two-way random effects model where both people effects and measure effects are random. So both people effects and measure effects are random. Okay, that's good. So both people effects and measure effects. The estimator is the same whether the interaction effect is present or not and type A interclass correlation coefficient using absolute agreement definition. So this means that the uh, test retest reliability is good. To test validity, especially the standard error of measurement and minimum detectable change, first we need to run what we call descriptive statistics. To do this, we go to analyze, then descriptive stats, then frequencies. And here I need to move the items that I need to test in terms of the reliability. Let's say happiness one and happiness, let's say two and move them here and in statistics i need to choose the mean uh, standard deviation and standard error and click ok or continue and ok so here are the descriptive stats the mean the standard error the mean and standard deviation so i double click this table i can transpose it like this so I need this table along with the test retest reliability. I did it, so I will redo it. So I go to analyze, then scale, then reliability. And here for happiness, I need to include happiness one and happiness time two. Call it just H. And here for statistics, I need to choose interclass correlation coefficient and two way random with absolute agreement. So that's it. And click continue and click OK. So after having the uh, reliability or the 
test retest reliability we have two measures the single measures and the average measures so we look at the icc the interclass correlation coefficient this one in the average measures and the closer to one the better and here it is statistically significant which is good the internal reliability is not uh, relevant to us in this case so what i need to do to test the uh, minimum detectable change and the uh, standard error of measurement i need an excel list this one i can share it with you the description below uh, or the description box or the comment section so here we have time one time two and we have the mean we have the standard we have the n referring to the sample size and the sd referring to the standard deviation so i need just to just uh, minimize it like that and i need to take the data from here from the descriptive statistics i computed at the beginning so for the uh, n or the sample size we have 22 22 then for the mean we have uh, this mean which is this one i can just uh, copy it from here and paste it or type it if you wish so 4.4 .4. so i take just two decimals it's okay then the standard error of the mean so it is 2 1 for time 1 and for time 2 so better to type it like that 2 3 and standard deviation is 1 0 2 and 1 point done and then what i need is the icc the interclass correlation coefficient from this table which is 0 0.519 so 0.519 and that's it so here I have those values, the standard error of measurement and the minimum detectable change. So the lower this value is, the better, because we want to reduce the uh, standard, uh, like the error in terms of measurement. So the lower it is, the better. And the same for minimal detectable change or the minimum detectable change. Here we have the pole standard deviation. You can see it here, etc. So this is in brief how we test the uh, validity using test retest and minimum detectable change along with the standard error of measurement finally we can run correlation tests to see the convergent and discriminant uh, validity of different constructs in case we have different liquid scales etc in this case we can just run correlation quickly we can go to analyze then correlate then bivariate and here I can correlate, for example, happiness with uh, surprise, etc. to see whether they can be grouped in the same construct. So I will just move them here and click OK. And this is the result. So these, these are not correlated, so they cannot be grouped into one. So this uh, does not show what we call a convergent. So we cannot converge those two different, let's say, items but in your case if we find for example this one that is statistically significant that is below 0 0.05 or equal 0 0.05 that's good and if this is high like 5 and above this is good like 0.5 so it's not 5 uh, this is for the correlation we can also run especially if you have uh, you know updated versions of spaces you can go to analyze and correlate and run bivariate with confidence intervals in which case you can see the confidence levels and you can just uh, check for example uh, different variables uh, with what let's say uh, frustration can be checked with sadness uh, let's say fear and anger and then we can uh, click ok after that you get table of correlation coefficient along with the sig value and correlation can be either negative with the negative sign a uh, positive with the no sign just uh, one two three four five etc and these are decimals of course because before that we have point zero point and the depending on the p-value it can be either statistically significant or not depending on whether the p-value is equal to point uh, zero five and uh, below or not so this is the way we can use to test the different types of reliability the internal consistency the test retest reliability and measure the icc the the minimum detectable change and the standard error of measurement 
in addition to uh, what we call correlation for convergent and discriminant validity if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post it below